Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Document a Journey. You have not seen this notebook before. This is, I mean, I'm sure you've seen them before. This is a blank Hobonichi notebook, but it is housed in a path cover. And what I meant by you hadn't seen it before is this is the first time I'm showing you that it, it exists in my collection. <laughs> um, I absolutely love these covers uh, by Hobonichi. They are one of my favorite and I go back to the A6. It's like my jam. That size is my favorite. I go back to the A6 all the time and so I tend to collect these Hobonichi covers. But anyway, what I am doing in here, let's talk about this. So I have recently told you how I'm kind of in a journal, I don't know, funk? I wouldn't even call it a funk. It's just it's it's weird 2020 is weird and it's reflecting in my journals I guess so I I used to before I started YouTube I used to journal and sketch all in one book it was just one book I even planned in that thing and that was how it is but with wanting to do flip throughs and all that kind of stuff on YouTube I have since separated them so that way my sketch journal could be shown and my written journal is kept private. Last year during Create December I got really into collaging and more of a junk journal style and I was heavy into the standard size. Uh, it was really great especially when my kids were in school because I could take all their bits and I could glue them in and I really didn't have to cut down a lot of the paper because they're relatively the same size well so I did that pretty much starting in January till about now maybe even like maybe six months we'll say six months I did that for half the year and then I just started missing my a6 illustrated journal and not only was I missing it but um, my kids were in remote learning and now my kids are homeschool so I don't need that space to save all their papers and I told myself at the beginning of the year that if I wanted to, I'd, I could always come back to it because I had one of these Hobonichi blank notebooks and it's, you know, it's just something that I'm really comfortable doing. So here I am. I tried to actually, before I even started this, I tried to do this in my, I called it my practice sketchbook. I'm sure you guys, see, guys have seen it. It's, um got that canvas cover and I tried to do it in there but honestly I am not into watercolor or any kind of paper with a tooth on it I really like plain smooth paper and the, the Hobonichi isn't plain but what I'm trying to say is I couldn't do it I just didn't like it as much and that journal is there it will be there for me to do different illustrations with when I want to make it make them into stickers but for now it just it sits there because I wanted to I wanted to bring this back I wanted to bring my sketching back into um, I don't know into my journals so oh my gosh I'm long-winded today I used to do this before and I used to call it documented life or an illustrated journal and that's what I'm going to bring back. So I pick moments, and it's not every day that I do this, but I pick moments in my week, and I go ahead, sketch it out, and I write a little bit about that moment. So here, what you see is three little characters. They're from a video game called Pikmin, and my kids are absolutely obsessed with this video game. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure what you do. I'm not the video. I'm not. I'm not really good at video games, uh, nor do I really care about them. But my husband loves gaming, loves video games, and he is uh, the one that normally, you know, does all that kind of stuff with the kids. So what I gather from what they tell me is you have to collect all these pigments, and they follow you around these pigments, and you have to take them home. I'm gonna. I'm using air quotes for home. And you have to do all this in a certain amount of time before something gets you. So anyway, they absolutely love it. They're playing it on the Switch and it's a little trial game. I'm pretty sure it'll be up soon and they'll be devastated. <laughs> but um, it's a good idea to see if you would want one of these things uh, to purchase for Christmas or something. That's why we do them. What do you think? 
The yellow was this one. Oh, really? The red was this one. Um, I'm sorry. What? Messed it up. What? I messed it up. She said the red one was this one and the yellow is supposed to be this one. How do you know? I don't. She knows. My bad. I thought it was this way. I googled it. Um, where's the rock? I, yeah. did, I just drew the guys. The rock guy? Mm, I don't know. I just drew these three. Can you draw one more? Please. What does he look rock. like? Um, he's just he's a like, rock with a, a stem and a flower. He's like this. Place. He's like this. Like, that's a line. You know what? There you go. You show me. Okay. I don't think she can draw. <laughs> here he is. Wait. No. That's it? That's not it. Okay, have here you give it a shot. How do you Do you want me to erase this yes. or can you just use it? Erase it. Okay. We'll see what he does, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. I was trying to draw that. I was drawing to trying to draw that. <laughs> What's on the top? What is that? A leaf? Uh huh. Okay. That's how we draw leaves. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. This is. Does he have any feet? Yeah, um, he has feet. Mom. Do they look like this? Mom. Yes. I, yes. Okay. I, Hang on. Wait. Let's to... see what she does. Stem. Oh, this is the stem. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is this actually a video? Mm hmm. We're in it. Yeah, you're drawing in it. Is it actually good? Of course. You <laughs> drew it. What do the feet look like, miss? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they both go the same direction. Okay. Cool. Can I paint it? What color is the rock guy? He's um, black. Gray or black. You can do, I do black. He's black mm -hmm. or gray? Okay. Hang on, let's see. Should I, uh, should I ink him up and shade him like I do my guys? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, here we go. Uh, are his eyes black? Your miss centers right here? Yes, yes. Okay. Pupils are. Um, but the outside the white. The outside's white, so keep that white, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. so his pupils are black. I can do that. Okay, so you want me to color him in gray? No, paint him in. Paint him in, well, I'll start with gray, and then we can Whoa. get darker. Okay. How do you know your colors? I just know what colors are where. All right. Uh, is his leaf green? Yes. Uh, yes. Is his stem green? Yes. No, it's black. No, it's black. Yeah. Okay. We'll do a thin layer first. Um, the blue one can go in the water. Oh, it can? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the rest can't. Yeah, because I got a... Stuck, stuck. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But the waters can go in there. Mm-hmm. The blue ones blue. can. Oh, my gosh. It looks so weird. Does it look good? Yeah. So I finished painting this up, and my uh, camera actually uh, cut out, and so you don't get to see the journaling part. Um, but I will uh, include a picture of what the image looks like before the journaling at the end. Maybe next time I will include the journaling portion. You let me know, is that something you're interested in? Um, and anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, everyone, I'll see ya.